Depression is a very misunderstood disorder. People will tend to stereotype depression and make it seem as though you are typically sad all the time and hate the world, but that is far from the truth. Depression has sub-disorders that will have different symptoms, intensities, and causes. Here are the different types of depression. Disruptive Mood Dysregulation Disorder If you tend to have continuous outbursts of temper, either physical or verbal, and it happens three times a week, that is one of the symptoms for disruptive mood dysregulation disorder. Other symptoms that you could experience are feeling sad or moody besides the anger three times a week, or having severe outbursts. It's more likely that you have this disorder if these symptoms have occurred for more than a year, or if the symptoms started before the age of 10. Another sub-disorder of depression is major depressive disorder, which can also be known as clinical depression. Those with this disorder may have an episode for longer periods of time, while others may only have had an episode once in their life. People with MDD have the following symptoms for nearly a two-week span, and it will usually arise every day. Feeling hopeless, sad or numb. Decreased motivation for things that they used to like. Increased or decreased appetite, which could lead to weight gain or loss, respectively. Changes in sleep. Fatigue. Being unable to concentrate. Forgetfulness. Thoughts of death or suicide. Suicide attempts. And self-harm. MDD can be mixed with different disorders like anxiety, melancholic features, catatonia, peripartum onset, psychotic features, and seasonal patterns. Persistent Depressive Disorder, also known as dysthemia, is an ongoing depressive disorder. The symptoms are not as clear as MDD, however the symptoms usually happen almost every day for two years in adults and at least one year for children and adolescents. The symptoms that go along with dysthemia are appetite change, change in sleep cycle, low energy, poor self-esteem, feelings of hopelessness, bad concentration, forgetfulness, and lack of motivation. Dysthemia can be mixed with other disorders just like MDD. It can also range in levels of severity. Premenstrual dysphoric disorder is disabling approximately 3-8% to of women, and no one can really figure out why. The following symptoms occur during the menstrual cycle, and a usual diagnosis would require at least five of the following symptoms to be present. Mood swings, increased sensitivity, feelings of hopelessness or being overwhelmed, anxiety, feeling tired and sluggish, a lack of interest in activities, and insomnia or excessive amounts of sleep. The disorder also has physical symptoms, such as joint pain, bloating, weight gain, tender breasts, and swelling. This disorder will affect school, work, and relationships. Substance Medication-Induced Depressive Disorder This disorder is present during the use of medication or during substance abuse. Symptoms include irritability, depressive episodes, bad temper, a sense of hopelessness, and no interest or pleasure in anything. These symptoms will occur when using the substance or when in withdrawal. Most people use drugs or substances to feel better and will usually not notice the symptoms they have for substance medication-induced depressive disorder. Depressive disorder due to another medical condition is another type of depression. Arthritis, diabetes, HIV, Strokes, viral infections, and much more can cause you to have depression. Symptoms can include a persistent depressive mood, lack of interest, irritability, and an elevated or expansive mood. We hope this helps you out. If you experience any of these symptoms, please see your doctor or find someone you trust to talk to, especially if your symptoms persist. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.